Interior together, and now it's the perfect time to uh, do this seat tilt uh, mod. Uh, you can buy this on diffs online, I believe. It's uh, made by Thayer's Motorsport. Uh, basically, it's just a, a little bag of uh, hardware. You got, uh, you know, some studs here, some little extensions and washers, and. Uh, but yeah, let's put it together. You know, supposedly it gives uh, you know the sport seats about uh, 10 degree tilt, which uh, you know I guess makes it a lot more comfortable to drive these cars uh, long distances. Um, of course, you know I'll 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 see if it actually works. But uh, everybody's raving about it, so let's uh, put these guys in and uh, see what it looks like. All right, since we have the interior apart right now, this would be a perfect time to demonstrate how to install this uh, seat tilt mod. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty straightforward procedure. You don't actually have to remove the seats uh, to install it, but I had my seats removed to get the ladder fixed. And, you know, this is going to make it easier to demonstrate. All right, so first and foremost, so you see we got a stud here and a stud here that you can't see. This is where the seat rails fit. So you're gonna take a standard washer, put it on the stud, then you're gonna follow it up with a coupler. Then you're gonna install this uh, extender. It, it's basically just another stud, uh, followed by another a uh, standard uh, nut followed by a fender washer and uh, once you put the seat on you're gonna put another fender washer on top and tighten it with uh, a nut that uh, came you know with the seat okay so here so I'm gonna take a 13 millimeter socket and tighten this down. Now I'm going to put the stud up here. Tighten that with a four millimeter um, hex key. So another standard nut, a fender washer, and we're done. Now I'm just gonna have to do the stud here closer to the door and the other side. And once that's done, I'm going to reinstall the seat and uh, I'll, I'll show you what it's going to look like. So once again, I'm going to put the standard washer down. And followed by this coupler slash spacer. Use a 13 millimeter socket to tighten it down. Then add this uh, stud. Four millimeter hex key. Good. Standard washer and a fender washer. And then once the rail is installed, you're gonna 
you know, the, the seat rail is going to go here, you're going to put this over the top and tighten it with the, um, the original knot that came with the seat. Should be easy enough. Okay, now that the tilt mod is on, I can go ahead and uh, reinstall my seats. So, here we're going to start with the passenger side. So I'll start with tilting the seat forward and connecting uh, the seat heaters. Just a quick tip, when you're taking it all apart it's always easier if you put all the hardware that pertains you know, to each side into a separate bag. Um, obviously if you're just taking the seat out it's not that big of a deal, but if you're also taking the seat apart uh, there's going to be millions of uh, nuts and bolts and it's easier to just keep them in one place. myself to tighten all down for later. And so the seat is gonna have to be cleaned. Uh, but that's it. And I think even from the camera you can already see like the angle of the tilt. It looks a little severe, but supposedly it's only 10 degrees. Uh, it's gonna make you sink it into it a little better. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's your uh, seat tilt mod.